Hello everybody, I hope you're well today. Uh, I'm doing this video on uh, anarchy and government. Um, you see, I've been called an anarchist many times because of my stance against the government's men establish no such thing as a, a good government created by men. There are only varying degrees of better or worse. Uh, because of my stance opposed to governments established by men, I am called an anarchist. I understand. But I am not preaching or advocating anarchy. I am not advocate rule without law. Um, this is misunderstood, so I will try to clarify. And you go to your Bible. What form of government did God establish amongst the people in the nation of Israel when they moved into the Promised Land? Some might say, well, it was a theological government, government ruled by priests. That would be incorrect. And Joshua, who led the people into the promised land, was not a priest. He was not of the priestly order or family. And he was a prophet of God. You see, God was opposed to men establishing a government. He didn't want rulers over the people. He was enough. God is the gov ruling force and the government is one ruled under his law which does not require a governor, president, a king. He actually did not want to give the people of Israel a king, but he gave it to them because they asked for it. Yeah, they asked for it. He was enough to establish human governments is to say that God is not enough, that we need something more than God to govern our lives. This is a lie, a deception brought out by men who though may profess a belief in God, uh, seek only power for themselves, and they are the ones who are the cause for many of these problems blamed on religion. Religion is not the cause of wars. It is greedy men who take up the mantle of religion as a tool manipulate the people. We should not have to pay someone else for the right to live where God has provided a place for us to live. God has provided all we need. We need not have to, why should we have to pay someone else for something God has already provided? This is caused by greed, by men who wish to control these things, who claim ownership of something which really is not theirs, and just something they claimed and took possession of with their power, and they hold that power over you. The people in Washington, D.C., though they think they own you in this country, don't own anything. They don't own anything. The land was here before them. The land will be here after they are gone. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say here. God always provided for the people, his people, before they had kings. He always provided for them. 
defenders, judges, and prophets. These men were not their rulers, nor they their bosses. The people were allowed to live freely as they saw fit under God's law. They shared equally in the bounty of the land which God provided for them. They did not have to pay anyone taxes, taxes, which is a form of tribute to someone else who claims it but doesn't really own it and because of their power. Think about it, people. Why is it that you pay taxes? Is it because you really want our government to do better and provide for the people? Or is it because you're afraid of what will happen if you do not pay your taxes? And, um, and by the way, the taxes you pay and your income tax do not go to pay for anything the government does. It all goes to pay the debt to a private bank our government borrowed the money from in the first place. Where did this bank get its money? It just printed it out of thin air, people. They think they own you, and you are owned by them when you permit it, when you say nothing about it, when you do nothing but accept it and deal, yield to it. Once you yield to this system, you're part of that system. You're stuck in it. You can come out of it. You can come out of it. But first, you have to get over your fear. You want to stop the crap that's going on in our government and in the world, then stop feeding it. It'll starve on its own if enough of you simply stop feeding it. problem comes to how do we get out of this system, how do we transition to a more peaceful system which does not require somebody in a building a mile away telling you how to live. The key is education. Unfortunately, the education system not established to, to teach you these things. It's established in order to cause you to conform to it, to accept it. The B system is any system of government man establishes outside of the law of God. establishes for man, for men and by men, is corrupt from its nature, from its very inception. And no, I'm not preaching about going to some theological form of government that would be just as bad, if not worse. It starts here in your hearts. How you govern yourself and treat others around you. It has nothing to do with what goes on in Washington. Those things are meant to ensnare you and enslave you. You can stay a slave to that system if you wish, if it provides what you need, but it won't get you 
paradise. And it will be for naught when you're an old man sitting on your deathbed. It won't do you any good. And all that wealth you accumulate, you think you're leaving it to your children, will help your children. Oh, to an extent it will. But only physically. And you are actually handing over to them a bigger burden. A very big burden. As well as guiding them into slavery when they're young. Same slavery you're in. Now you can say, well, I'm rich. I own all this. I control all this. I'm not a slave. Not a slave. Try living a month without any of that money and see how much of a slave to that money you are. I hope you understand. Peace, love, and understanding be with you all.